All right, guys, this is Julio from the Campalorians. Uh, we're here to make English muffins. I know this is not normal. I know this is not real camping. And some of you like to go hunt them in the wild and grind everything. I and hunt make English muffins all it the time. It is important to do yes, that. Yes. But we just like to eat English muffins. We're going to make them tonight uh, for tomorrow's breakfast. And um, we just want to share with you guys. Recipe is going to be down below in a link. It's from a great website if you like to make bread. Uh, one more thing, if you've never made bread at home, this is probably not the thing that you want to do in camping. But if you do like making bread, this is phenomenal. It's a great, it's tasty, it makes everybody smile. If it's great with bacon, and everything's good with bacon. Everything's good with bacon. Got to the table. All right, let's very do simple. this. Very simple. Oh, most breads are very simple ingredients. So I pre-measured everything at home. I have some butter, I have milk, I'm gonna have some yeast, salt, and flour. That's it. Perfect. First step is the, mo the hardest one of all. Dump it all together and mix it up. Now that we got all the ingredients together and they look like a big blob, we're gonna start the kneading process. But before that, you need to know about this. So Nathan, what is this thing again? So it, it's really simple. It's just a, a cheap little Coleman uh, camp table we picked up at Walmart. Um, we'll put a link down below, but uh, the tabletop's just a piece of uh, butcher block I had left over that I cut, sanded, and finished with food grade mineral oil in a uh, little beeswax mix so you can, uh, you know, Cut directly on it, cook on it. Um, no and, flavors uh, coming to the food, which is great yep, for me. No flavors to the food, but you can uh, do what we're doing right here, which is knead uh, bread directly on it. And so we're gonna start the kneading process. It's about eight to 13 minutes. So we're gonna play the whole thing, slow down for you. No, we're gonna speed that portion <laughs> up. One eternity later. Kneading, this is supposed to be kind of a dry dough, so that's why it looks like this. Uh, we're gonna do a very slow rise because it's kind of hot in here, so we put the air conditioning in one of the flyers and we're gonna leave it there for a couple hours to just rise up. Then we'll come back, divide it, shape, second rise, and then we'll cook them. That's it. Hi guys, so Time has passed, we're supposed to wait about two hours and keep it very cold. We waited about two and a half hours. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, grown, but that's okay. Let's take a look at it. You guys remember how it was and the sandwich is grown. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're going to divide it into 12 pieces. You're supposed to kind of measure this and the reason is not to be picky, but so that it cooks evenly. Uh, we're just gonna kind of wing it and we'll see how it works, right? It's part of the adventure. Once you make the bowls, I want you, basically we just kind of flatten them out and we put them on semolina flour. That's what gives the English muffins that weird texture. And we put them there. Now we'll repeat this 11 more times. So the guy that I learned this from, Jack, the link is down below. Uh, he says, you know, technically you're supposed to do it on something like this, like the Blackstone. Uh, but in his recipe, he gives you a cheat sheet in case you can't do it and it burns too much or browns up and it's not cooked or whatever, which is putting it in the oven. We don't have that luxury. So we think that it's going to work if you put the Blackstone at the lowest amount 
and you're supposed to put it eight minutes on each side. We're gonna put it on 13 minutes because I think that's what I did last time and I forgot to write it down. So, take a tester one. That's the one we're gonna play with and we're gonna put it in and let you guys know how it turns out. Wish us luck. I know my black zone is a lot hotter here so I think I'm gonna try it right here and just, again, it's all trying. Squeeze it a little bit and put a timer for 13 minutes, please. All right. So we think it was too hot. I lowered it now to the lowest of the lowest. So when you turn it, you'll see that it kind of got already a little too cooked. And it also has grown a lot, but okay, we'll see. So I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit. It's probably a crime in some countries, so I apologize. <laughs> and we'll see. We'll set a new timer here for eight minutes and take a look and see. All right, we're gonna go and check and see how this works. All right, so that's a better color. So, all right, now moment of truth, which is what these guys are waiting for very patiently. We're gonna open it up and see, did it cook, did it not? If it didn't cook, because the second side looks kind of nice, I guess, we're just gonna leave it for longer. Um, if it cooked fine, then that's it. We're gonna put a lot if of- If it cooked fine, we already have the butter out ready to go. We have butter out ready to go. <laughs> all right, it's hot as hell, so we'll see. Oh, yes, that works. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's how this Oh, oh. hey, once again, thank you to Jack from uh, Bake with Jack that call that UK. He's the man. He is the man. All right, let's go put some butter. Oh, bring some butter over here. Hurry up, it's cool enough. Oh, okay, he's going yeah, there. You go. <laughs> I said so butter. Well, that's just the perfect amount for me. We are very healthy. Do you guys want butter too? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Let's watch this thing just melt up. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oof. All right, now we get to, now you guys get to watch uh, Michael and. Here, watch this. Yeah, Michael and Nate go at it. Oh. Oh, that's, that's sacrilege crime. right there. <laughs> what have you done? Uh, I was gonna say you lick it, but he's gonna have to edit that. Yeah. Do it just throw. <laughs> just give him that Here. one. No, it's for him. Oh, this for me? Yeah. No? Okay. Enjoy. Thanks. Let me know if it's mm. truly cooked or not. Mm. Yeah, okay, so we gotta put the rest in. So tomorrow, this is what we have for breakfast. We'll warm them up a little bit and um, put some bacon, eggs, and have at it. Yummy bacon. The next day. That was an incredible breakfast. Thank you, Julio, for making English muffins on a Blackstone griddle. How is that possible? I don't know. Julio's got some magic tricks up his sleeve. And if you wanna find out more of how he was inspired and where the recipe came from, check the links below. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it. So please subscribe, like, and hit the bell to be notified when we have new content available. We hope you enjoyed. Thanks again, and until next time, we'll see you later.